Yo, what's up guys? My name is Raynell Roy. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the Texas City Dyke. Let's do a little fishing. Let's go. Luck yet? Three on top water. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm not sure if it was dropped because I'm uh -huh. normally they'll get it. Yeah. Three real good blood, thank you. I switched over to plastic. Work the rocks on the way back in to see if I can pick up a thumb. No. Uh, I'm bumped yet. Mm. Alright. Gonna try. Get out here early. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like Best time? I would always get them. By the time the sun was coming up, the bite would slow down on top of water. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. They can hear it. They don't have to see it. Okay. Okay. There you go. Yeah. yeah. All right. Keep going that spoon, though. You get hit. I'm trying. I got one. But That's about it. Got off whatever it was. Something hit it already? Yeah. That versatile bait, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know they're in here somewhere. Let's go ahead and cast towards the sun. So my little silver spoon can have that real bright reflection. Speaking of reflection, I just realized I forgot my glasses in the truck. Where the fish at, y'all? Where the fish at? Oh, fish on. Oh, oh got off. Damn. All right. They in here, y'all. We just gotta catch them. We just gotta catch them. All right. I think I got a better idea of what's going on. There's some fish right here. Got them? Oh, I think we got a fish on, y'all fish on either fish on or rock on there we go come on knew it was a fish over there not sure what it is yet oh my god <sighs> come on man come on All right, y'all, let's go ahead and try the other side of the dike. Definitely slow on this side. All right, y'all, so I headed to the other north side of the dike, as you can see. Um, you got your kayakers out there, but you know, that area is definitely deep. Uh, I'm gonna head out there, which looks to be about, eh, two, 300 yards where I see some people waiting at and see what we can get into all right y'all so like i said i got the down south lure um i think it's called purple region with the chartreuse tail 1.8 gig okay so i gotta be patient with this one 
real light. All right, y'all, quick update. It's been two hours and I just lost one fish, one bite. I'm gonna relocate to a different area on the dike and see if we can have any kind of better luck. It's 81 degrees. I'm gonna give it like another hour or two. I don't want to go 4-0, 4 no coming to this dike and not catching nothing. Damn. Come on, we gotta get one. At least one. At least even a small one for a sandwich. Can I get a small one? I can make a sandwich so I can save face. I can't get big enough. Oh, man, come on, let's let's just come on, let's go. So let me give you a little history about the Texas City Dyke. Um, it is five miles long that goes out into Galveston Bay. Um, yeah, it's pretty much, it got damaged pretty bad during Harvey, so they had to shut it down for a while. Um, rebuilt the roads and everything as good as new. Um, you have a lot of commuters out here fishing and enjoying the beach and parasailing and all kind of interesting things um, pretty much. So it's a pretty cool area laid back um as far as like pricing um i believe on monday through friday it's free to um, get on the dike and saturday and sunday um saturday and sunday is a ten dollar fee however if you want to finesse what you have to do is if you get here before 6 a.m um, you can get on the dike for free and also days like labor day and memorial day those holidays it's like a 20 dollar entry fee per vehicle um, so yeah, if you get that particular ticket, I believe it's good for 24 hours. So if you leave and come back, as long as you got that ticket, you're fine. But once again, remember the um, hack is get here before 6 a.m. and you can't get on the dike for free. So um, yeah, I went to the end of it. Um, there's a lot of people down there. Um, there's a spot that I like, but it's too crowded. Um, I'm gonna head back towards Mosquito Island and possibly go out there. Or there's a, um, it's like a, a flood reservoir that I've seen on some YouTube videos that people kind of hit up. So I might try it there because last time I went to Mosquito Island, I didn't have any luck. So I just want to try something different, you know. I'm pretty much trying to convince myself not to drive to Galveston to be able to um, catch something because I can't post another vlog fishing without catching a fish. It just doesn't make sense. It's like it's like posting a cooking video, putting all the ingredients together, but then you don't show the final result of whatever the hell you made. So, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna get something, I'm gonna get something. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping, I ain't tripping. So yeah, um, probably try one more spot. If that spot doesn't work, I have to decide whether do I go home or do I go to Galveston and just try another spot that I heard about. I have to catch fish. I have to catch fish for this vlog. I've been hyping this damn vlog up all week. You know, I got my new gear. I got my GoPro Hero 8. I got my drone. You seen the drone shots. I, mean, I got everything in this damn vlog besides fish. Ain't that a B? Damn. All right, y'all. So, yeah, um, on to the next spot. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what I do. It's hot. Need a snow cone. Anybody got snow cone? Water? Help! Help! All right, so I'm heading down Skyline Road um, to this little flood reservoir thing. Well, I don't know. Now, something that's kind of interesting is when you go fishing, especially something in this area, you can kind of see like the economic, geographic um, separation of people. Meaning, you have the people who fish on the bank, which is along the side of um, the shore, right? Um, next, you have people who go out to the water and wade, like me. Um, that requires a little bit more skill, you know, a little bit more money. Um, then you have the people who are canoers who take their kayaks out there and just kind of yak out, which takes, you know, more skill and even more money. 
and then at the hierarchy are the boatmen, the people who own boats, and kind of go out there and just make us all feel bad. It's all good. My next come up, kayak. Kayak. Nah, I don't want no kayak. Nah, mm, nah, son. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Can't die from a kayak that is not gangster. I need to get shot, you know, by like, you know, a gang or something, MS-13, drive-by shooting. You know, I can't have a funeral and people ask, well, how did he die? And you're like, well, he was fishing in a kayak. And yeah, nah, that's not gangster. Mm -mm. I need something hard. You know what I'm saying? I need something like, you know, I was robbing a bank and got shot by some cops. I can't be like, I was fighting a red fist and I flipped over. Mm -mm. Nope, not today. Not today. <sighs> Why, God? Why don't you want me to catch fish? I don't understand, like, who put this voodoo curse to put these obstacles in front of my life to prevent me from catching fish? I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. I mean, you want me to just run around just killing chickens all day? Hmm? Hmm? Chicken? Yeah, want me to eat chicken? You eat cow, eat beef. It's like you, you cool with everything else, but I can't, I can't get fish. I don't get it. I don't get it. I like fish. I, I like eating fish. Just let me catch them. You know what I'm saying? Like it's okay. It's cool. I'm respected. I'm gonna eat it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna eat it. Damn. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going back to another spot. I see some people kind of waiting. I never tried it before. Can't get any worse than this. So. When God put obstacles, uh, not God, when the devil put obstacles in your way, you get the Holy Spirit and you find a way around it. <laughs>
So I don't know what to do. You'll know by the next scene. Either the next scene is me ending the vlog as I fly across the screen in a drone shot with Finn, or you see me at another spot in Galveston. Who knows? Who knows? I do know what I do want. I would love a Sonic strawberry lemonade. A Sonic strawberry lemonade. A solid one. I don't even want to fish no more. If God, can I get a strawberry lemonade? Can I get a strawberry lemonade? Anyone? Whatever. Come on, y'all. Let's go. I'm sad. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>